So this entire week is essentially about how to model systems using matrices and vectors. Okay, and so this is just the first lecture in this week, and this is the first part of this first lecture, and we're going to be talking about systems of equations, um, and essentially how do we uh, write down various word problems, various uh, constraints as systems of equations and then solve them. Okay, so I want to start, first of all, this is um, a tremendously powerful set of ideas that can be used for tons and tons of applications. This is an extremely, extremely important thing to be able to write down a system of equations in a bunch of unknown variables and then solve for those unknown variables that solve the system. And I'm going to start off with a really, really, really simple motivating example just to get things going. Okay. So one of the simpler examples that I like to start with is just this um, age problem where let's say we've all seen this type of word problem before where we have Sally's age um, plus Bob's age equals 35. Okay, let's just, I'm making stuff up. Sally plus Bob equals 35. And then for some reason, maybe I have some other cryptic equation like two times Sally's age minus Bob's age is equal to 25. Okay, this is the kind of information that I might have uh, given to me and I might want to solve for what is Sally's age and what's Bob's age, what's S and B in the system of equations. Okay. So I'm going to do this a few ways. Um, ultimately, we're going to build up to doing this in MATLAB, and I'm going to show you how what we develop here, you can essentially generalize to much larger systems with many more variables and unknowns. But for now, we're just going to work through this simple example. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we're going to try to do is essentially get rid of all of the S terms in the second equation. So we just have B equals a number. And we're going to try to get rid of all of the B terms in the first equation, so we just have S equals a number. That's what we want. We want Sally equals some age and Bob equals some age. Okay. So first step, let's just subtract two of the first row from the second row. Okay. I'm going to take everything in the first row, multiply it by two, so I get two Sally plus two Bob equals 70. And I'm going to subtract that whole thing from the second row and I'm going to get rid of uh, the Sally terms in the second row. Okay, So we're going to subtract two times the first row from the second row. And all of my Sally terms go away. I'm always going to keep rewriting my first row because these equations go together. They're a system. Okay, So the first equation remains unchanged, but my second equation, I get zero Sally's because I subtracted two of them, so zero. And then my minus Bob, I get two more minus Bobs. So I have minus three Bobs age equals. And now I had um, 25 minus 70. What's 25 minus 70? Uh, well, it's 45 minus 45, right? 25 minus 70 is minus 45. And this is actually looking really good. We actually have an expression where I think I can solve for Bob's age now. Okay, so in the next the next step, my first equation remains unchanged. Sally plus Bob equals 35. Good. But now my next equation, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide both sides by negative 3, and I'm just going to get Bob's age equals 15. So perfect. We have Bob equals 15. Bob's 15. Okay. And now it's really easy to back substitute. Now I have this information, I'm going to substitute it back in to my Sally plus Bob equation. Or what I could do is I could just subtract this equation from my first row. And the last step is I'm just going to subtract this equation from my first row and I get just Sally equals 35 minus 15 is 20. And just Bob equals 15. Okay, so I've solved my system of equations in two unknown variables. I had two equations and two unknowns. I didn't know Bob's age and I didn't know Sally's age. And I'm able to solve them. Uh, Sally's 20, Bob is 15. And I just went through a very, very simple set of procedures 
where I essentially tried to manipulate these rows until I had Sally only on the top and Bob only on the second equation. Okay, great. Now, in addition to um, just doing this by hand and keeping track of all of these equations, um, there's a few extra things I can do. So what I could do is I could write this as a matrix system of equations. Um, and we're actually going to find this to be much more um, useful in the future. OK, and maybe I will um, add one more interesting equation. So let's say that, um, OK, so I, I have this. And the way I can write this now is I can say, well, I, ha I could create a vector that contains Sally's age and Bob's age. And I could multiply that by this matrix and try to get all of the terms in the left two equations. Okay, so the coefficient of Sally in the first equation is 1. The coefficient of Bob in the first equation is 1. The coefficient of Sally in the second equation is 2. And we have minus 1 Bob in the second equation. So if I multiply these, I get Sally plus Bob on the top. And 2 Sally minus Bob on the bottom. This is great. And this equals a vector 35 and 25. Okay, good. Um, great. So now what we could do is we could recognize, um, well, we could essentially go through all of the same steps and try to reduce this to something like the identity matrix times Sally and Bob. And these are all the steps we went through above. Okay, we're just going to go through all of the same steps. We're going to subtract two of these from these and then divide by negative three and add it back and all of that stuff. And we're going to eventually get an identity matrix times Sally and Bob equals the numbers we actually cared about, which I think were 20 and 15, right? Sally is 20 and Bob is 15. Okay, so I can take this system of equations and I can write it as a matrix system of equations. Um, A, A is my matrix, times X equals B. Okay, X and B are vectors. So let me just tell you what you know and what you don't know. So A is known, right? A is all of this information in this A matrix. It's all of these coefficients. We know what A is. And B is also known. This is a matrix. And B is a vector. And X is an unknown vector. X is unknown. Uh, and we'd like to solve for it. OK, so this vector X um, is Sally and Bob's age, right? Sally and Bob equals 20 and 15. So X is the unknown vector that we just solved for here. This thing right here is my vector X. And this is a very, very, very general way of writing, um, writing equations as a form. AX equals B. Okay, we write a system of equations as a matrix times a vector of unknowns equals a vector of things we do know. And we're going to solve for x. Okay, thank you. <laughs>